I've been in conversations where people have talked about Christians and said that, oh, well, you have to be small minded to believe in in God or you have to want to believe in a God and not see things from a scientific perspective. I don't see it that way. I see that God gave us science to help us understand the world around us. Talking to other scientists who think that they know everything can be very difficult in terms of trying to communicate um, something that's very hard for them to believe in. So I think the way that I try to communicate that is the way that I respond to them and the way that I talk to people and the way that I sort of carry myself in a way that is honoring to God because it's not ultimately their approval that I'm seeking, it's His. And so I have to sort of have that separation between try to speak truth, but at least be salt and light in my job. There, there are new mercies every morning. That is literally what I think about at night when we put our kids to bed. And I'm thinking like there is, there is new mercy for tomorrow and knowing that yeah, like my identity and my worth is not dependent on how my kids turn out. To be able to really tell the team, um, look like, we want to be good at what we do. At the end of the day, yeah, we're, we're trying to make money. We got to feed our families, uh, but really have a heart for what you do. Our performance as individuals, as a team, our reputation as a company, uh, and, and the way that we serve our clients, it will improve if we truly have a heart for the people that we are serving. I find that the biggest challenge is finding that line between wanting to be open about my faith and wanting to display the love of Jesus while still maintaining what I think are necessary professional boundaries. You know, when a family member, you know, is in a very difficult situation and may not know the love of Jesus, it's a challenging balance to try and minister to them in a way that is not intrusive and in a way that does not make them feel like I am taking advantage of a vulnerable moment to, you know, push my beliefs on them. The world that we work in is a constant reminder that regardless of what skills we have as a team and what God has given us, we are not in control. The things that we hope for are not always possible, but there is a hope that is beyond the side of heaven. There is a hope that we have in Jesus that gives us and a joy that completely transcends whatever may happen, whatever tragedies happen inside the hospital. And so it's just, it's just such a natural set of circumstances to really be able to you know, minister in that way.